2023 is perhaps the biggest year so far for space games. With titles coming from AAA studios and publishers, there's every chance they will shake up the genre. Not to mention, there's also a bunch of amazing looking space games coming from indie studios too. Here then is a look at all the massive space games for 2023. Ixion, coming in at the very end of 2022, was nevertheless a great candidate for a 2023 space game. Ixion then looks extremely impressive, both in terms of visuals and gameplay. The concept, you control a massive mobile space station which has taken on the function of a generation ship attempting to survive its journey across a galaxy. Along the way, you will face numerous challenges but also have the ability to upgrade your station. There's a truly amazing sense of scale to this game that is portrayed not only in the environments, but also very specifically from the size of the main space station itself. Ultimately, in many respects, the game appears to be a city builder, but it is mixed with a range of themes from both sci-fi and space game genres. This means building and managing the interior of the station is essential, as it makes its voyage across the galaxy. Equally though, it's essential that you both micromanage and macro-manage that journey. The developers state that the game plays out as a constant balance between maintaining hull integrity, bringing in new resources and managing power consumption. And then, there's a stellar maps to explore. The concept is extremely interesting, and one which I feel many people are going to be interested in trying out. The big title of 2023, of course, is Starfield. Not only is this the biggest new space game, but also one of the most anticipated games of all stop. With 1,000 landable planets to explore, numerous cities, and likely a multitude of outposts, Starfield has the ideal scale for a space-based title. Naturally, spaceships are a big focus. Not only are they customizable, but players also are free to fly them throughout space. Of course, ship combat is also a thing. Now, Bethesda titles are traditionally open world and sandbox in nature, and this is a perfect fit for the genre. Additionally, there is a campaign for players who wish to dig into that, and with a quarter of a million lines of dialogue, the world should certainly feel very alive. Now, where Starfield differs to many of the other big space games is that it is not multiplayer. Many will feel that this is a lit down but equally, many others would feel that this is a huge bonus. Regardless of the feelings towards that though, the lifespan of the game is potentially going to be a long one. The open nature of the modern community will bring a lot of life to Starfield, with creators adding all manner of features, mods for this title then should be especially interesting to see. Falling Frontier It's missed a few release dates at this point due to numerous delays, Yet the game looks as impressive as ever. This one is an RTS space game with great looking environments and spectacular visuals. What makes Falling Frontier truly unique though is the level of detail of the gameplay. Here you won't control a massive fleets of ships, instead you will hold a handful of mighty vessels. The limited numbers means the ships will be of extreme importance to you. It also means that your tactical and strategic decisions are vital. Drilling down, players will find their crews to be as important as their ships. Officers gain their own sets of skills, knowledge and value, and each will add suitable benefits to your roster. However, during the events of combat, it's possible crew members may be taken prisoner by the enemy. This in turn might lead to valuable information being extracted, and it will be your decision then on whether to mount a rescue mission. Visually, Falling Frontier is definitely a standout title, and hopefully 2023 is finally the year this one releases. Everspace 2 has been in early access for a while now, so this is definitely one you have likely played or at least seen played. Nevertheless, its full release is set for 2023. This also means we can expect to see the game on Xbox and PlayStation. Or some news for console players then. The title is a combat-focused, action-packed space game like its predecessor, it is single player. Unlike its predecessor, it is not a roguelike. Instead, players will find themselves in a large open world galaxy with numerous large star systems to explore. 
Most of these star systems are visually distinct and have their own lore, history and respective environments. Further, the game features a variety of planetary surfaces and these range from a standard rocky affair to more stylistic fire, ice and water worlds. Visually, Everspace 2 is gorgeous to look at and fly through. In terms of gameplay, the title is to all intents and purposes a looter shooter. Similar in concept to many a dungeon crawler, yet expanded to suit the space-based environment. With a range of ships to collect and use, players are generally free to play the game as suited to their playstyle. Each ship can be upgraded from a huge selection of weapons, modules and other components. In fact, there's enough options here on offer to make your ship pretty much distinct. Straying away from spaceships for a moment, but retaining the space-based theme, System Shock is a remake of the classic 1994 title. This was easily my favourite game of that year, hence the inclusion on this list. This is a single-player RPG then, in a horror setting. An abandoned space station that has fallen victim to a dangerous rogue AI, with zombie, borg-like creatures roaming the corridors. In a way, it sounds not too unlike Dead Space, yet in execution is very different. Meanwhile, whilst the visuals on offer here may not rival the big releases of AAA titles, they nonetheless mark a massive step up over the 1994 original. Kerbal Space Program 2 is certainly one of the most anticipated space games for an extremely long time. The game retains much of what made the original so popular, but also expands upon the entire concept massively. Setting out to build your own rockets and ships based upon real-world science, this game will teach you the fundamentals of orbital mechanics. In fact, without a fundamental understanding of science, you are likely destined for failure. Now, where the first game set you at a single location and set you out on your journeys to a number of stellar bodies within a single star system, Kerbal Space Program 2 ups the stakes significantly. Now, interstellar travel is possible. What's more, players are set the task of building colonies on other planets. This will very likely be a huge challenge for most players. Additionally, these colonies serve as hubs for vehicle construction, and from here, players can travel even further into the depths of space. The title is also set to have a multiplayer aspects at some point in the future. It's also worth pointing out that Kerbal Space Program 2 will be in a period of early access. With an early access start date of February 2023, no end date for this has yet been set. I know a lot of people are looking forward to seeing where this title goes. I'm one of them. Homeworld 3 has a long been come in. The first game launched all the way back in 1999 and was completely amazing for its time both visually and in terms of gameplay. The second game arrived in 2003. 20 years later, we have Homeworld 3. Stylistically, it is very much a Homeworld title, although naturally it has been much improved for the modern era. In terms of gameplay, it remains much the same but new elements have been added, such as the ability to use the environment for tactical decisions. Massive objects such as ancient ship and station wrecks can act as cover for moving your ships, for example. Now, as for the story, the Homeworld series has always been rich in lore. The players can fully expect to see that expanded upon. Quality storytelling then should very much be a thing here, and certainly something to look forward to. Whilst The Outer Worlds 2 certainly isn't a space sim, I do feel it fits perfectly into the space game theme. As of this recording, nothing is known about the game. That said, it's widely expected to be a refinement and improvement of the first game. In the original title, players found themselves wrapped in a humorous story of political intrigue and satire. The story was spread across multiple worlds through which players would travel via a star map on board their ship. A neat addition for Outwards 2 would be the ability for players to free-fly their spaceships, but this really seems unlikely in the extreme, although it just does remain something I'd personally like to see. But that aside, players can expect to see more of the action, RPG, story, humour 
and wonderful environments from the first game. The Outer Worlds was certainly a fun and interesting game, so more of the same is no bad thing. And of course, some quality additions to the game would be most welcome. As we approach the end of this video, I want to briefly talk about a few notable missing titles. Specifically, Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen and No Man's Sky. There will be also other titles that I haven't mentioned, that's for sure. But for this video, I wanted to focus exclusively on new space games that are set to be released during 2023. But let's briefly talk about those collective of other titles as well. No Man's Sky, of course, has received over 20 quality updates to date. Expect to see many more during 2023. And if you still haven't tried No Man's Sky yet, then I can highly recommend it. It is an immensely quality space game. In 2023, Star Citizen is anticipated to finally receive the 4.0 update that will deliver the game's second star system. The new system, called Pyro, will be a massive expansion to the game and will bring along with it a load of much-needed technology. However, whilst the chances are good for Pyro to arrive in 2023, it's still not guaranteed. Ultimately, this means it's hard to predict what to expect from Star Citizen this year, but likely there will still be some updates. Meanwhile, Elite Dangerous continues to trundle on. Master Game has seen numerous changes throughout the years, including some surprising and unexpected turns in 2022, the future of the game is unclear. Whilst Elite will undoubtedly be with us for many more years to come, there are currently no signs on any significant planned updates beyond the planned overhaul of a single key game feature at some point in 2023. Ultimately then, the space game genre continues to remain thriving and alive and buzzing with activity. 2023 marks a significant step up for the genre with the release of AAA titles. It's very likely these are going to have a significant mark on the genre as a whole. That then brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.